YouTube family? Are you happy to see me as I'm happy to talk to you? <laughs> so you guys know that we are way more personal here on YouTube uh, than we, you know, than I am with a lot of people on Instagram or a lot of y'all are on there or Snapchat and stuff like that. We get more into deep talks and deep details and reasonings why therapy 101 session. So today I'm introducing you guys to um, a merchandise of me, lovely Mimi. Now it took me a while to decide what do I want to do. Everybody was like, do a nail product. And I was like, a nail product? I was like, if I do a nail product, only the nail techs are going to buy it, not the people that get their nails done because they don't do nails. So that limits. Uh, do eyelashes. I'm like, well, eyelashes was big at one point where, you know, I was selling minx lashes for $25, but it went down real fast. And I was like, and the beauty supply I have it for cheaper, so, you know, nah. And then people were like, well, do lipstick or makeup. I was like, everybody's doing lipstick and makeup. I don't want to do the same thing. So I finally decided. One day I sat down with a lady and she said, you know what hit me? I'm gonna tell y'all in a little bit. I want to share with you guys what I got. Okay, and then I'll tell you the backstory behind it. So my new merchandise is da -da 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 my signature smile. <laughs> chop chop. Chop chop. Why did I name it Chop Chop? Chop Chop by Lovely Mimi. Okay, so you guys remember I have a gambling addiction. And so I play baccarat and at the baccarat table. You know, when you want to face cut, you say, monkey! <laughs> and when it's cutting, like, board is going back and forth, that chop, chop. <laughs> so at that point in time in my life, I was playing back around, and I was, you know, I, I still am, but, okay, I just love to gamble. It's in my Asian blood. But chop, chop, that's where I got it from. Chop, chop by lovely Mimi. Um, and, yes, it is uh, branded two-piece because the other one was taken. So inside of here, we have... Let me flip it so you guys can see it. Whoa! Sorry. Chop Chop by Lovely Mimi. Colorful unicorn like me. Happy smile. Whoa! Cooking is therapy. Chop Chop the stress. You know I love cooking. I haven't done a lot of cooking videos because I have them backed up. Ready to use these knives for you guys. We're going to be back doing cooking videos. Okay? Chop Chop. Okay? And here are the beautiful knives. Okay, I cut my fingers a couple of times, so they are sharp. So be careful. They are beautifully hologram. Um, I've soaked them in baking soda acid and stuff like that to see if they rust. Washed them a couple of times. No rush yet, you know. Uh, the handle right now is simple because I wanted to see how it goes. So once these goes and sells, um, you know, we can do a new batch. We can start doing different colors. I just wanted to test out the merchandise and see how it was going to do. Maybe we can do chopping board and apron and stuff like that because we're always spending time eating and in the kitchen. But look how beautiful they are. So you get five knives, you guys. Look. Wow, so beautiful, isn't it? So you get all five of these knives for only $40. So for only $40, you guys can purchase the whole box and five of these knives. So that's less than $10 a knife. Like, Hurry up and buy, honey. You guys can purchase it right now at www.lovelymimi.com. So exciting. But I want y'all to know the backstory behind this, okay? So once these go, so make sure you guys tag, you know, tag, tag your mama. Purchase it for your mom or your sister. Tag or even a guy that cooks, you know? We don't know. Everybody cooks. Different people cook. Cooking is therapy. And I'm going to explain the reason behind this. Okay, so everybody who um, has been true, you know, uh, subscribers to me, you know that I just went through a, you know, a serious breakup of 10 years and 
something that I didn't want exploited and got exploited. And during the time, as everything was getting moved out and stuff like that, we didn't really cross paths. And I didn't, I didn't shed a tear, you know, uh, of, you know, because I was flying back and forth, flying home, flying back. And I didn't really shed a tear coming home until this one specific time. And this is what made me decide on which merchandise I was going to pick because I was going over different things and different ideas of what I was going to do. So this one specific day, I remember flying back in from DC into Atlanta and I haven't been crying, but all of a sudden I go into my kitchen, you know, I have this big, beautiful kitchen in Atlanta. Like I was in my dream house, eight bedrooms, pool, everything that I wanted everything uh, a family a dog i was that perfect picture perfect family which wasn't true behind closed doors but i had this pic picture perfect image and the kitchen was my sanctuary i always eat in the kitchen you know we build a relationship in the kitchen we make noodles we eat octopus we eat all types of stuff me and the kids me and my ex uh uh ex friends or whoever or welcoming people you know i love to cook, I cook fast and I make these quick little things and I like to try different things and I love my cucumbers. Like that's our relationship. So I come home, go to my kitchen, this is a place in my sanctuary, and I go to cook. I remember I was making Alfredo that day. I decided to make Alfredo and this is when he first moved out and Yaya Ya Ming and Uncle was with me because I moved in with me and didn't want to live alone. Uh, this is when everything fell apart and I went to my kitchen and I went to look for my cutting board okay remember I had that wood cutting board that wood cutting board and I had my rainbow knives and that and I went in the kitchen and this I went to cook and I couldn't find it it was gone and I just started crying I was so mad and I was so hurt because it's my two items that I love the most. You go back to my old videos, y'all always tell me about the chopping board, the wood chopping board, and my knives. And I just, I've been holding everything in for so long, uh, for months, you know, um, of everything I was going through. How? And I didn't cry. I did not shed a fucking tear. I was, I was going, because I was so fed up with everything. I didn't shed a tear until I went in the kitchen and realized the motherfucker took my chopping board and my motherfucking knife. And I literally just like, I bawled. I remember that night. I remember that night. <laughs> uh, I, I, don't, I don't know why I'm crying and laughing at the same time, but I remember the night or that uh, I went upstairs. I didn't want to be bothered. Uh, and me and y'all saw me and I was just. I didn't want to be bothered. I didn't, I didn't want to be there. And my only happy spot was that kitchen and being able to cook and being able to just, you know, that's my place of peace. And those are things, items that I love. And <laughs> I guess this motherfucker knew how to really piss me off or what to really hurt me. And, um, took my knives, <laughs> it took my, my cutting board. And that was, you know, my really first time crying about everything. Um, and I remember in my red pot, which I actually found the red pot, so I can't blame him. It was so funny because during this time, you know what, during this time he didn't make that video yet. That video exporting to, to YouTube. That's why I didn't cry yet because he didn't make that video yet. And, <laughs> and and that was the first time me crying when I found out my knife and my cutting board was gone. And I remember because Javon and Juice were still able to go. They were living with uh, his brother's girlfriend or something. So they went over there and I remember Javon FaceTiming me and just the day I was like, mommy, because he was like, Javon didn't understand why I was crying over a knife and a cutting board. like. Some people didn't understand. They were like, well, we just buy you another one. It wasn't the point of purchasing me another one. It was the point that you knew exactly where to hit to hurt me because th those are the things that, you know, I really love. And Javon was like, 
he FaceTimed me while he was over there. He was like, Mommy, I found I found your cutting board, but I don't see your pot. I don't see your pot at night, but I found your cutting board. He never brought it actually home. Uh, I think that was the last time they went over there. Uh, but I was like, Javon, you my rider. Like, <laughs> you got, you found mama's cutting board. He didn't bring home, but, you know, the fact that he was over there and looking, looking for it for me, because he, you know, he saw how hurt I was. And I think a couple days later, um, I came home. I, I don't know where I went, but I came downstairs and there was two boxes uh, wrapped up. And it was from Yaya and me. And I I remember, I was like, oh, you guys got me something. It was just so sweet. Uh, and I opened it. And they got me a knife set. And they got me a cutting board. And that was just, you know, it was really sweet. Because <laughs> sometimes you don't understand how much something so small can mean to you until it's taken away. Or just, you know, the meaning behind it. So... It was really sweet of being and really sweet of Yaya and thoughtful, you know. Um, it was just a weird time of my life. So <laughs> now that I have these knives, <laughs> I'm so excited um, to share with you guys. I'm so excited for you guys to purchase it. Stop crying! I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> Okay, no, I'm so excited to share these knives with you guys, and I'm so excited for you guys to purchase it. Um, this is www.lovelybb.com. Support me, only forty dollars. But yes, cooking is therapy. Cooking, if you know me, you know this was my life, and for me to have something so colorful and call my own, I'm excited to share with you guys. I love you guys. All the support. Stay tuned for more cooking videos and I'm going to go wipe my face because my eyelashes coming off because I'm so great. <laughs> I love you guys. Mwah.